Our next skill is emptying a drainage bag and recording intake and output. I'm going to wash my hands before starting the skill. Hello Beth, my name is Mari and I'm your aide today. I'm going to be measuring your intake and output now. So I'm going to start by measuring the intake. My hands have been washed. I'm going to use the graduate to measure the amount of fluid from each container. Each of my cups is marked with the amount that it started with. This is a 400 milliliter cup. I dump the remaining contents in the graduate and read the amount left in milliliters or cc's. There's approximately 100 left in this cup. So that means that I have 300 milliliters from this cup. I return that to the original container and measure the second cup. This cup started with 600 milliliters. There are approximately 150 milliliters left. That means that my patient drank 450 milliliters. I will add 300 and 450 together to give me a total of 750 milliliters for intake. I will document that on my record. Next, I will put on some gloves and obtain the urine from her drainage bag. For this, I will put a barrier on the floor. I will use a different graduate that's marked for urine. And I will set that on the floor underneath the drainage bag. I'll open up the tubing on the drainage bag and empty the urine from the bag into the graduate, making sure that I have emptied all of the urine out of the bag. When the bag is empty, I will reclamp the tubing and clean the tip of the tubing with an alcohol swab or antiseptic wipe and return it to the collection bag. My waterproof barrier will go in the trash along with my antiseptic swipe and I will measure the amount of urine that was in the collection bag. There's approximately 725 milliliters in my container. So I will document that as my output. I'll then take the urine container to the bathroom, dump the urine in the toilet, and clean the collection container in the appropriate way according to my facility. I will go back, I will clean up the remainder of my supplies, take off my gloves, wash my hands, and assure that Beth is left with her side rails up if ordered, head of the bed at 30 degrees, call light and reach, and bed in low position. Is there anything else I can do for you, Beth? I think so. All right. Now I will make sure that my supplies are taken care of, wash my hands again, record, and report.